Hi everyone. Today I'm coming to you from inside a cave. Well, it's more like a tent I made out of my blanket, but you are going to get the opportunity to do the same thing. Make sure you have your parents' permission so they don't freak out when you are building tents with their stuff. Today I want you to find some brown paper if possible. If you don't have brown paper, that is okay. You can use um, regular paper if that's all you have at home. I'm going to take and crumple up my paper and do a nice big little ball and then I want to open it back up so it looks nice and wrinkly see that and that's going to give us kind of the impression of, of painting on the side of rocks now I brought my pad so I could have something sturdy to color on but what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and imitate the um the cave art style so I can take my hand and press it on my paper and go around my hand and actually you could leave your hand in place and here's my little one say hi are you in a cave with mommy so I'm going to go around my hand kind of like they would do in the cave art um, that could be one image that I have on my paper but I want to think about what could be some animals that maybe would be on my cave wall art. So let's think about maybe animals that we have in our area. What's common in our area? Um, deer would be one thing. So there's my handprint. Kind of looking like cave art already. <laughs> Thank you, Aubrey, for your support. All right, so let's say maybe I want to draw a picture of a deer. So I might do, um, a deer over here and remember this is cave art so it doesn't have to be fantastic um i'm going to maybe it could be a deer or it could be horses i could maybe do a whole herd of deer on my picture i could do um men chasing it with bow and arrows and hands so you can really have fun and tell a story across your paper. And that's why um, the ancient people used to go into the caves and draw on the walls is because they were telling a story. They were, they were tracking the history of what had happened and retelling it to the, the next generation so that they would know what had happened, what great battle had happened, what great hunting, hunting trip they had they gone on. So um, that's all we're going to be doing anyways is, is coming up with stories that we could tell on paper so that it looks similar to the cave art that we saw today. All right, guys, I hope you have fun with this activity. Uh, again, you can crawl under the table and have a little fun um, pretending you're in a cave when you do this. Um, but make sure you are imitating the um, cave art style. All right. Bye guys.